Hey everybody, Lindsay Adler here, and I'd like to take you behind the scenes of my stylized lingerie shoot. The theme is opulence and a vintage flair. Whenever someone hires me to do a boudoir or lingerie shoot, I don't take the typical approach. I'm not just photographing a model or subject on a bed in their underwear, but instead, I make it look more like a fashion shoot. And so anytime I do a shoot like that, it begins with a concept. So the concept here is the theme of opulent, red on red on red, with a vintage flair. Now what's incredible is that the model I have here, not only is she an amazing model, but she can actually do her hair and makeup in this style. And so I was inspired by not only her portfolio, but also by her skill set. And so I wanted to be able to photograph her with this vintage look. And so it's the beautiful hair and makeup, the styling, the red background, but then of course, bringing the shoot together involves beautiful lighting. So let's break down this three light setup. The first light I have here is a Magnum Reflector. Now a Magnum Reflector is a hard light modifier, meaning it gives a lot of pop and contrast. But what's great about it is because it's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit smoother on the inside, what it does is it creates a lot of contrast, but it's a little bit smoother and more forgiving on the skin. So even out of camera, her face, her skin looks incredible, and she just pops off that background. Now, speaking of the background, I am using a Savage Primary Red background. It's one of my favorite that I use all the time for my typical red on red style. Next, however, I need to light the background. Now, I don't have to light the background if I want a really, really dark, rich red tone, but if I wanna be able to control the tonality, brighten it up or darken it down, adding two lights on either side gives me that control. And in this setup, I added two small umbrellas. These white umbrellas give me the easy flexibility to make the background lighter if I choose that approach. Finally, on the right-hand side of the frame, I've added a white V-flat. Now this white V-flat, it's not doing that much in the scene, but what it does is I bring it in close on the right-hand side and it can actually lift up the dark shadows so they don't fall to pure black, allowing me to maintain detail. And then the picture isn't quite as heavy. So we've got the hair and makeup and the styling and the background and the lighting, and then the last two elements are the posing and the expression. Now the posing, I didn't want everything just to be sexy, but I wanted it to be strong and elegant. And I wanted the position of the hands to give your eyes some visual lines to lead you throughout the frame, adding another level of curve to the subject. All right, so that last element leads you to the expression. Not every expression needs to be strong and sexy to camera, but instead have a little bit of personality. Sometimes mouth open a little bit, looking to the light strong back at camera. Now I'd like to take credit for it, but it was actually the expressions were all my model and she was, incredible to work with. And one of the reasons that I love working with professional models is not only do they make my images better, but I learn from them. I learn from their posing, I learn from their expressions, and then when I'm photographing someone who's not a model, well, I can direct them and be inspired by the skills that I learned from a professional. All right, so my lighting is all set and it is super luxurious, so let's grab our shots. All right, so can I have this hand here? Great, and take a half a scoot this way, perfect. Perfect, and then hand down across. Great, love that. All right, so looking at these images, I would not say that they're typical lingerie, but they're lingerie in my style. So if you wanna see the gear used in this video, be sure to check out the links below and check out adorama.com. And of course, be sure to subscribe because I have a lot more of these beautiful high fashion shoots coming your way. See you next time.